Let's start this hour off with Melody on the Tom Likas Show. On Friday, I missed I missed the um, orgasm on Thursday, but I listened to it on Friday, mm -hmm. and I thought it was so great. And I told my boyfriend to Mike about it, and he was so bummed. And I wanted to know if you'd play it for him. Oh, see, we can't. You know what? If we do that every day, we could just play an orgasm every day on the air. Yeah, do you have a computer? I well, it's on, parents it, do. It's on our website. You know, let me tell you something. Yeah. We met over the computer. You did? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well. Yeah, he was out here in L.A. and I was in Oklahoma. And, and you moved out here to be with him? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, in fact, we're living together now. Is that so? Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> but he just wanted to hear it. So I you're living in sin now, in other words. Oh, of course. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> we like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like it. I understand. Yeah. So you, the two of you fornicate. Pardon? The two of you fornicate then. Oh, oh basically, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, probably masticate together. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. We you, do. You ever masticate in front of your boyfriend? Um. I once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah. Once in a while. You know, my wife. My wife masticates in front of me every day. Does she? Every day. <laughs> Um, I mean, you wouldn't believe it. Right at the dinner table. You know she did it right at the dinner table? Really? We were having dinner, and she masticated right in front of me. <laughs> I wish, you know... You should have seen the look on her face. Really? She looked like she had her mouth full. <laughs> like a what? Like she had her mouth full. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, I mean, it makes sense. She was masticating. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Don't turn it on. That's the time to do it. Uh, yeah. When you have your mouth full. Uh-huh. Don't you agree? Agreed. Agreed. I mean, uh, d do you ever masticate at the dinner table? Oh, when I eat, I do. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, you make that word sound so naughty. <laughs> oh, Melody. Well, it can be. But it's fun. Depends on what you're masticating with. <laughs> I usually masticate with food. Do you? Yeah. Ever masticate with a zucchini? Um, once in a while, not very often. A uh, carrot, a banana? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. You masticate with a banana? Uh-huh. Nothing I like better than masticating with a banana. <laughs> so funny. Oh. <laughs> now, of course, I was just kidding about masticating. No, I do like masticating with a banana. But shortly after Melody, we got a call from Dan. Hey, uh, what the hell is ma masticating? Now I can't even think of the word. Masticating? Yeah. Uh -huh. You've never heard me masticate on the air. Huh? No, I, I haven't. I'm going to do it uh, on the air. I'll, I'll tell you what, Dan. I'm going to masticate with a banana on the air. Really? This Wednesday. Oh, not right now, huh? I don't have a banana. So you're not going to tell me what it is? Well, you'll have to tune in and find out what it is, but I promise you... I'm going to masticate with a banana on the air. Well, I'll be listening. On the air. I just turned this thing on here. This is one freaky radio station here. Yeah, it is. Have you ever heard a man masticate with a banana? I don't figure I have. All right, well, you're going to hear it on Wednesday. But, well, you're going to be listening more often now, aren't you? You got that right. Mm hmm And uh, you tell your friends, by the way, Wednesday... This is this specific five, time, 520, okay? 520, It'll be eight, gonna... 820 Eastern Time, except for those stations that run us on tape, and then it's up to your local station to figure it out, okay? But you're listening to us live right now, okay? Uh, this Wednesday at 520 Pacific, 820 Eastern Time, I'm going to masticate with a banana on the air. I'm giving you advance warning. I'm going to masticate with a banana. I'll be there. All right? Thank and you. You're going to find out what it's like to masticate. How long does it take? A couple of minutes. Now, I'm going to have to clean... Uh, you know what, though? I'm going to have a roll of paper towels here so I can clean up afterwards. I'll tell you that right now. Jeez. And And as I told you, uh, as I told you, my wife the other night, this is true, I was at the dinner table, and my wife masticated right in front of me. Right there. Get out of here. I'm not kidding. Uh. I'm dead serious. I mean, I was just sit sitting there having my dinner, and I looked over, and there's my wife. And not only that, but... You know, when she was doing it, it looked like she had her mouth full or something. I mean, it was amazing. 
And I don't, you, you know, got a I, TV show. Who, who me? Yeah. No, I did. This we is all. Watch I, this. Oh, you want to watch it on TV? Well, I'll tell you what. First, you you know, it might be a little too much for you to tell. I want you to hear it on Wednesday at 5.20 Pacific Time, 8.20 Eastern Time, uh, when I masticate with a banana on the air. And then um, after you've heard it, you might want to call back and decide whether or not you want to see it. Oh, I, you do have a TV show? No, no. I see, Well, put it this way. I'll, I'll do it on the radio first. If there's a real demand, maybe we'll make a video. Maybe we'll make it available on television somehow. Okay, but yeah, Put it on the Spice Channel. There, there you go. Wednesday... 520, and uh, don't forget, Ted, I'm, not, I'm only going to do it once, no, and I'm not going to repeat it. All right. So make sure you're listening. You're going to be in the car at that time? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to call you. All right. And we're going to get your reaction, because it's going to be this Wednesday, 520. I'll be masticating live on the air. And, uh, again, uh, I Kleenex or paper towel, I'm going to have to have something to clean up, because, you know, I'm in the studio here, and it can get kind of messy. Do I got to pull over? You might want to. All right. All right. I'll be there. It was time to masticate, so we got Dan back on the phone. It was you who started this whole thing, Dan. I had the conversation with you. I forgot you. to listen. Well, I didn't even listen to the damn thing. It's a good thing we got your number and called you then, isn't it? Well, I mean, I didn't get to hear you do it. Now, have you? Well, I haven't done it yet. I'm oh. about to do it right now. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Are you in, We're you're not in, on the air. We are on the air right now. Right now? Right now. Now, Dan, here's what I want you to do, okay? Seriously. Wait, where, 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 are you, where are you driving right now? You're on, the, um, yeah. you're on a freeway somewhere? Just about to Duval. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you, uh, this is important, I want you to pull over. Why? Because you're about to hear me masticate on the air with a banana. I, I don't want you driving off the road. All right. Okay. I've got to find a place to pull over here. Okay, Go good. Ahead. That's Go good. Ahead. All right, cause, uh, and let me know when you're ready, because I, I, really, I do not want to cause an accident here or anything. <clears throat> All right. All right, you pulled over? Yeah. All right, because, you know, this could, you, really, uh, it's, you, you know, it's dusk where you are, and I don't want you getting into an accident or anything. Now, right. by, by the way, Dan, have you ever done this before yourself? Hell no. Never, huh? Not that I know of. Okay. I never... Screw no vegetables or whatever you're going to do here. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I just wanted to see. But, uh, all right. Uh, Dan, by the way, is in Duval, Washington. And uh, it was Dan's call that really got us started here. What is that? A rutabaga there, Dean? No, uh, that's, uh, that's a little too big for what we're about to do here. All right, Dan, I'm going to put you on hold so you can hear it better. Yeah, and then I'm going right. to come back. I'm gonna, and then I'm going to. I'm not. Don't go anywhere, okay? Well, if I can handle this thing. All right, well, just, again, don't don't drive while we're doing it, okay? Just stay right where you are. Yeah. All right, hang on. All right, this has not been done on the air before. I promised I was going to do it. And, uh, uh, Mr. Kelly, if you'll start the music. I am now getting ready. I've got a big banana in my hand. I mean a big, ripe, firm banana. A number of people have asked me if I'm going to peel the banana. I hadn't decided uh, when they asked, but you know what? I think for the purposes of our conversation, the purposes of this program, I think I am going to peel it. So here I go. Okay. Oh my God. That is a big banana, isn't it, Dooley? Oh my God. Look at that. Standing straight up. Now. I'm about to start masticating. Are you ready? Oh, Here we go. Oh, mm. oh my God. Mm. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. I took such a big, big mouthful, I almost broke the banana in half. Mm. I am masticating right now. Oh, man. Let me try that again. I'm not, I'm not done yet. Folks, I am not done. Oh, yeah. Oh. I feel so good. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm... I'm and the thing is, am I going to take it all in? You bet I am. Watch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Messy, Dooley. Your fingers are all wet. They are. It's, it's just sticky. But I'm gonna wipe up after I'm done. Oh. Mm. Almost got the whole thing gone. Oh. It's almost disappeared. Oh God. Oh. This is <laughs> unbelievable. Oh. What would happen to Dan? Oh. I don't know. Dan. You, you still there, Dan? Uh, yeah, what the hell? What do you think? Yeah, it's a little too much for me. What? Too much? What? It's too much for you, Dan? Whatever. I'm masticating in front of you, and I am confident of my masculinity. Yeah, right. To I ma thought you, you said on that show you were married, I thought. Uh, I am married. But I have an open relationship. What's the wife? Oh, I guess you do, boy. Now, later that hour, Dan called back again. First of all, I'd like to apologize for hanging up. When did you hang up? I hung up on you. Oh, you did, because you were really upset. I was a little. Yeah. Uh, all right, so you went to the website, and there were also pictures. There were photos of me uh, uh, That's during, what I saw. during this exercise. And all, I don't know what that cost you, but... It just shows afterwards when you eat it. Oh, so they didn't show the actual masticating. They only showed when I was eating the banana. That's right. So what you're saying is that you didn't see a photo of me masticating. You only saw me uh, eating the banana after right. masticating. Now, um, were you surprised Just a that a... Minute, honey, I'm on the phone. What? You were, what? you were surprised that a man would masticate and then eat the banana. After masticating, is that is that what you were telling me? Uh, yes, sir. So you're you're upset because we didn't show the actual. You're, you're I'm saying not upset. I probably don't need to see it. I my wife uh, made me come watch the dumb thing. Oh, so your wife logged onto the website and then called you in. Yes. Now, now, what is your wife there? She's in the house. Can we talk to her? No, I don't know. We don't need. What do you want to talk to my wife? Well, I just wanted to know what she thought about this. I mean, I know you seem pretty upset about it. I was just. You know, we're always interested in knowing what people think. She's making supper. Oh, she is. Yep. Are you going to be masticating with her tonight? I don't. I'm not going to hang up on you here. Good. So you don't need to ask me that. <laughs> well, I, I was just wondering, since your wife is making dinner, if you're going to be masticating tonight. You can tell me that. I don't mean to make you upset. Oh, the hell with it. He hung up. He hung up. Now, don't call him back, Dooley. You know what? If he wants to call back in, he can. I, you know, he's got. He's getting angry at me because I asked him when his wife makes dinner tonight if they'll be masticating, and he got angry again. This guy's got a hair trigger temper. Got on the website, and he's upset because we claim we were showing mastication. All he saw me doing was eating the banana, but that was after masticating with him. That's Dan, ladies and gentlemen. There are no dictionaries in Duval, Washington, apparently. Dom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Dom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Welcome back live on Monday from here in the cockpit. Me and Mom with some of our favorite moments from the past. We had a topic about fat waitresses. And Tiffany called in. I just want to know what you think fat people aren't supposed to work. Well, you uh, certainly can get jobs, but I would say uh, not serving the public because the public doesn't want to look at you. Um, no, that's not true. I'm a fat girl, and I bet you I can get more men and more customers than a skinny bitch any day. How so? 
because I'm good looking, I'm polite, I'm nice, and I treat customers the way they want to be treated. And the way I want to be treated is I want to look down your shirt and uh, see paradise. That's what I want to see. Well, if fat people aren't supposed to work, why have I been offered more jobs than, you know, any skinny person I know? I, I have no idea what kind of jobs you're being offered, darling. Yeah, I'm a cashier where people look at me all day long. Uh-huh. Well, I'm telling you, I think that at coffee shops, I think people want more. They're paying four bucks for a cup of coffee. They want to look at hot chicks. No, yeah, and that's the problem with what? women. What's nowadays. the problem with why it? Women, that's the problem with women and why women get complexes about they, the way they look. You should have a complex. You're fat. Well, no. Why do you eat like that? No, that has nothing to do with it. Being fat doesn't mean anything. Oh, really? So, in other words, you what? You eat the uh, celery sticks all day? You eat carrot sticks? You eat crudite? No, I eat cookies, donuts. Cookies, donuts. Yeah, that, and that's why you look like that. Yeah, you should yeah. have a complex about it. No, I have no complex because I'm comfortable with the way well, I am. Then why are you so angry? Listen how angry you are calling in here. No, I'm angry at you because you insult people and put people down. Well, you know why? Because of your behavior. You, you're you doing self-destructive things. Of course, you deserve everything you're getting. So uh, if you all of a sudden gained 100 pounds and you wouldn't be accepted by society, you'd be okay with that? Uh, yeah, you know what? Because society no, would be no, right. No, the only thing that matters to me is self-comfort. I'm comfortable well, with Well, there you go. Well, you're not going to be comfortable with the way people feel about you because we're all talking about you behind your big, fat back. No, that's not true. Sure it is. How do you know what we're saying behind your back? I know, because I'm a good person. I'm a better person than half the people really? out there. Really? You sound awfully angry to me. No, there's nothing bad to You got bad baggage there, darling. You see, look how angry you are calling in here. Look how defensive you are. Because you're an ass. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, dear. Yours is uh, awfully hard to find. I'd have to look under all the folds. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, all right. What's your boyfriend's name, by the way? Uh, none of your business. You don't have one, do you? Business. Come on. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. I have a boyfriend. I have a daughter. Oh, I, I bet you have a daughter. I'll bet. I'll bet you are a single mother. No, I'm not. Really? So you're married and you have a boyfriend? No, I'm not married. Oh, well, then you are a single mother. No, we're together. I'm not single. Yeah, you're single. Are you married? No, I'm then not. Then you're married. single. Whatever. Single means not married. You I are not married. Entire? I have the entire American dream, house, car, dog, everything. Really? You weigh 250 pounds, the American dream. You're a big, yeah. fat girl. You're 23. You look 35. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You haven't seen me. You don't know. Dear, uh, if, you look, if you're 250 pounds, we have a pretty good idea of what you look like. Yeah? Yeah. I'll show you what I look like. You can come to my job. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, well, you show us what you look like. What, are you going to tell me you're some sex bomb or something? Come on. Yeah, I bet I can get more men than any skinny bitch out there. Oh, I'm please, you. darling. I can. Maybe by sitting on them. Maybe by crushing them. But that's about it. No. Hang on a second, and Tiffany. And uh, Seth, what did you want to say to Tiffany here? You must be a fat bitch to come off like that. I cannot believe that you would even think that you could get anything more than some hot skinny chick. You know why we all go to the coffee shops? To look at the skinny chicks. We want to look down their shirt and see them big old nips. We want to see them, and you're not there, obviously. That's why we go to the coffee shop to see them. You know what? Now, just like the hot, skinny chicks are idiots. You want someone oh, yeah. who can't hold a conversation? Oh, with? oh yeah, we all we all want to hold conversations with women as intelligent as you. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Well, yeah. not you know all men. Think there's there's reasons why like movie stars have to lose twenty pounds to get movies. There's reasons why porn stars have to have an eight-inch personality. It's because that's what people want to see. You don't have what they want to see. You're not in the business. Yeah, I ain't tried to be in the business, so. You're trying your field. That's why you're not there, because you're a fat bitch. That's what all of it's going to be. Sorry to tell you that. You know what? That's bad news. You want good news? Go save some money on car insurance. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the guy quotes a Geico commercial in the process of insulting Tiffany. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Have you fathered children for people? No one has ever asked me for this. Probably because they don't want to have some big mouth bratty kid. The Tom Likas Show. Wow, you've done absolutely nothing From today. From Los Angeles. 
How cool is it's that? It's the Tom Likas Show. This is 97.1 The FM Talk Station. Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, 25th of November. And um, we're taking the day off. We'll be back next week with some brand spanking new shows. Meantime, some of our favorite moments from the past. You know, a few years ago, comedian Robert Schimmel was in the studio talking about how he'd gotten married again and his new wife was pregnant. And we got a call from his daughter, Jessica. Hi, Dad. Hey, Jessica. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm doing a radio show. I know. Yeah. Um, I listen to this every day, so I thought I'd call up when I heard you on. Wow. Jessica is my uh, the daughter from my act that everybody hears about all the time. And you listen every day. Yes, I do. Okay, so for, for those people that think that I was fooling, did I get married last night? Yes, you got married last night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, boy. Now, are you a 101 student as well? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Sort Mostly. of? Mostly? <laughs> Mostly. Uh, okay, just checking. <laughs> but I do listen every day in my commute, and I always find it amazing, and I've tried to call in a thousand times, and I can never get through, so... Today is the day you got it. Good thing you get in. Good thing you get in today. I know. Okay, so you heard what he was talking about before. No. Well, when I turned the radio on, it was asking people if somebody lost a breast because of like breast cancer, would the guy stay or would the guy leave? Then it was one. Uh, what if say, your girlfriend was raped? Yeah. Uh, would you stay or leave? Would you stay or leave? That was the topic. Ooh. That's Ugh. tough. That's tough. <laughs> I want. I don't want to give an honest answer because it would look bad. Oh, Why? Oh, really? <laughs> Why? Oh, you mean because I left mom? No, I would leave probably. Oh, you would leave? Yeah, I'm sick of sick people. <laughs> oh my god! That's your daughter. There you go. You're sick of sick people. I know it sounds bad, but it's like you're sick. Everyone's sick. Derek was sick. I don't. You know, it sucks for them, but I'm done. <laughs> oh, God. One more sick person, you're out the door. I know. Wow, that's nice to know. Winter, you might be out. Yeah. Wow. So if your uh, boyfriend's manhood got whacked off, you'd be out the door. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> no doubt about it. Definitely. It's important. I mean, if I was like 80, then, you know, who cares? But now, at my age, it's important. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. <laughs> oh, God, I'm in trouble. <laughs> She talked to me the other day. She said, did you tell mom yet we were, you were getting married? Because she said, I don't want to be the one to tell her. And she's going to see my wife what, Friday night. She's taking the kids back to, to see my ex. So uh -huh. she didn't want to be the one dropping the bomb on her. Oh, boy. Well, you waited until the night before to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like she was going to come, Jess. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You don't do that. That's mean. You don't do what? Wait till the night before. Well, when was I supposed to tell her? I don't know her anything anyway now. I guess. Out with the old, in with the new. Oh, oh man. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're listening live to the Tom Liga Show. This is a live exchange. Oh, my God. Jess. What? You know that I, I couldn't be there anymore. What kind of out with the old and in with the new? By the way, your little sister is sitting here in the studio listening to you and me. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, besides that she's listening, you know, God knows how many people are listening all over the place. Yeah. Now, you you know, and first of all, as far as you leaving because somebody's sick, you dropped out of school to take care of me when I was, when I was sick and I got diagnosed. I know, and now I'm tired of sick people. You ruined <laughs> it for the next guy. Ruined it for the next guy. There you go. The next guy gets sick, that's it. He's going to pay. It's all because of you. It's all because of me. By the way, if I haven't already caused enough trouble, Jessica, how do you feel about your new sibling coming soon? Um, shocked. <laughs> really? Yes. I, when he told me, I, I literally had the worst anxiety attack I've ever had in my life. I was driving home, and I had to pull over because I couldn't breathe. And, um... He he told he just told us so he's like you know you're gonna have a sibling oh and it's in, coming in June and he only told us like a month ago no because here's what happened we had lunch at where was it El Torito or whatever in Beverly yes, Hills yes yes okay so Aaliyah the 12 year old says is Melissa pregnant and then I said yeah I hadn't told her before but I but the psychologist said if she asks you got to be honest and just tell her the truth so I said yes and I thought Aaliyah knew because when I was in New York with her and Melissa a week before. 
I took her to Toys R Us, and I said she could have whatever she wants, and she picked the pregnant Barbie doll. And I thought that was her way of letting me know that she knew, but she, obviously she didn't. Then when she did confront me with it, it was the day that we had lunch together. So I figured if a 12-year-old knows that my girlfriend is pregnant, how could a 24-year-old not know? So then I call her up at work, and I said, is there anything you want to ask me? And she said, no. I said, wondering about anything? She said, no. I said, okay, well, then I might as well tell you because Aaliyah already figured it out. And Jessica said, you're getting married, right? And I said, no, we're having a baby. And then there was just like a long silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand. And then your thing was like, well, I'm supposed to be sterile, but it's like she could take birth control. It but, doesn't matter. I mean, it's too late now. But the doctor said, <laughs> it's so oh, God. But the doctor said, get rid of the birth control. You don't need it. Well, that worked out fabulously. <laughs> no, I mean, it's fine. I, I, I was a little shocked, you know. I mean, I'm th like, my whole thing is, like, mom was pregnant with her second kid at my age. This is when I should be having a baby, and you should be a grandpa. <laughs> kind of like a weird thing. And then, like, my kid's step-grandma is going to be, like, my age. <laughs> but it's okay, you know, whatever. It's not as bad as my mom wanting to fix me up with her boyfriend's son. Which happened <laughs> no. Yeah. She wa she met this guy on Match.com, a really nice guy. Match.com, huh? Yeah. And she wants to fix me up with her his son. And I said, well, what happens if you guys break up? I, you know, I was supposed to have hung up <laughs> minutes ago, but I can't, I can't let this go. And I was like, it was so weird to me. And I was like, then I'd be sleeping with my stepbrother if you guys hooked up. It's like it couldn't, no matter what, there's no winning. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you're a regular listener. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. You would not believe what we put up with around here. You would not believe what we put up with around here. Uh, here is a caller we had um, recently. Her name I was Jackie. Pray. Maybe you heard Jackie call in. What's your problem? You've you got a problem with some woman really screwed you over, that you're really so angry with a woman that you have to attack everybody all the time? Are you a psychiatrist? No, I'm not a psychiatrist. Well, why, oh, I, I, instead of asking me about myself, why don't you tell me what you're calling about? I'm calling about you. I want to know what your problem is. This has, what do you mean, what is my problem? I don't have any problem. Oh, you, you keep attacking women. You know, everybody goes off to Europe and screws everybody in Europe. And that's what American out. women do, absolutely. Oh, they do? You think that's you know why? Everybody? That's why American women go to Europe. Absolutely, that's why they go. Oh, you think you know everybody that does everything? Oh, please. I never said everybody or everything, all right? Most women. Yeah. Why, what, what is your problem? You got really screwed by a woman that you're so angry Why at do you keep woman? saying this over and over? Look, because we have a topic here. I, you're going to talk about the topic or you're going to leave the show. So <laughs> now you know what the topic is. Let's hear your opinion about the no, topic. I, I want to hear your Thank opinion. you for calling. That was Jackie calling in. Now, um, that, if that weren't bad enough, I made a few comments about Jackie after she hung up. Here's what I had to say about Jackie after she went away. I don't know why they think they can win. I have the buttons. I determine what the topic is. I am the boss. My name is on the show. This is the Tom Likas Show. Never forget that. This isn't the Jackie Show. You know what show this is. This is the Tom Likas Show. That's right. Don't you call in here trying to make the rules on this program. I'm the boss. My name is on it. If I tell you to talk about the topic, you, you stand up and bark. If I say jump, you say how high. You don't like it? Get lost. That was uh, what I said about Jackie after she hung up. I was a little fed up. But uh, now uh, we get a call here from somebody who identifies himself as uh, Jackie's son. He needs to have his mouth washed out with soap, of course. I think his mother probably needs to take a shower anyway. Soap not uh, commonly used in this family. But uh, listen to the call that Dean got off the air after my conversation with Jackie. I don't like you disrespecting my mother, for one. Can you get the hell out? I'm talking. 
I don't like you disrespecting me either. What are you talking about, dude? You're about me. My mother calling up from England. I don't even know who she is, dude. What are you talking about? Are you just screaming for a time? Of course. Well, you talked to her earlier, and I don't... What are you... T what are you saying, bro? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm going to show you okay. I'm going to go over there and kill you. Watch. I'm going to personally go over there and knock your teeth down your throat. You just said you were going to kill me, man. Yeah, I'm going to. If you keep opening your mouth, let me talk. Bro, you, you said you were going to kill me, and I have you on tape saying it. And when you call an 800 number, every number's listed. You'll definitely be hearing from me. No, or not from me. You won't be. Here. You won't be. You won't. Say troopers have to put. I know too, pal. You just threatened to kill me, dude. I can't help you out, dude. What? Uh, you just threatened to kill me. I can't help you out. Put your mom on real quick. What? Put your mom on so I can apologize. Well, I like you disrespecting anybody. Put so your mom on so I can apologize. Yeah. Hello. Jackie, your son threatened me over in an 800 yeah, line, and I recorded hey. him, and I recorded yeah, him, and, I, and we, I, I have to, and I'm sorry, I just wanted to let you know, that's all. That wasn't right. That I, you know, said that we I know, I know, but he out. said he was going to kill that me, was sweetie. Listen to he what was, I'm trying to say. He, right? I can't, I can't help me. you, Jackie, I just wanted hey, to tell you. Me. Jackie. You don't like people making comments. Jackie, your son you your threatened me. Jackie, your son threatened to kill me. I'm sorry. You don't your mouth on the radio. Bye, Jackie. Right? You disrespect me and my family. Jackie. Oh, what's the matter? You don't like the sh coming back to you? You can run your mouth. You know what I mean? Well, that always hurts back, does it? That was wrong in what you did. You know, you insulted me. You said we don't have showers. You call me an old cow and whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Jackie, your son, like your son threatened to kill me. me. Thank you. Jackie, I got to go. Do? I got to go. Yeah, You'll yeah, be hearing from the you know authorities. Me? You're sure. You know my son's a um, brother of a cop, too. I know. You know what I mean? Good. Don't so you're saying that the police are going to get you out of it. You you're, the police are going to get you out of it. Yeah, you can run your mouth. Jackie, you can run your mouth. have a good night. Have a good night, Jackie. Good night, Jackie. Your son threatened me. Good night, Jackie. You believe that? Believe that? Now, now I understand. Jackie calling back again? Jackie, 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 I just can't okay. believe your son called up and threatened to kill our associate producer. No, excuse me. Oh, we have him on tape? Hey, excuse me. Do you know that's illegal? Hey, excuse me. Do, Do you, you know that that's illegal? Oh, excuse me. Do you know that that, this is a yes or a no question, you old bitch. Do you know that's you illegal? Old bitch, again? Yes, you old bag. Do you know that that's illegal? I don't know what the law is in England or any of the other uh, third world countries out there, but you know what the law is here. You can't call people up and threaten them. You know that? Hey, listen, mate, you old listen, prune. Mate. Are you called telling Do you, me? That's a yes or a no, dear. That is a yes or a no, you old bag. I'm asking you. No, I'm, I'm such an old bag. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Answer the question. What's the question, that, mate? Do you know that that's illegal? Oh, yeah? Do you know we're going yeah, to press I... charges against you? Do what you're going to do, mate. I ain't going to no problem. We're going to do it. Don't worry. Yeah. And by the way, why don't you why don't you tell us the name why don't you tell us the name of the state troopers you're related to so we can take them down with you? Why don't you tell us the name of the state troopers in your family so we can take them down with you? You don't like My problem is that old prunes like you somehow have a radio and are able to tune in. You are able to get your arthritic cans to run the dial up to our station and then tune in and then dial in somehow. That's the problem over here. Wow, wow, wow. So there you go. So calling in and threatening to kill us. You didn't think we taped that, did you? Oh, I knew what you was doing. I ain't got no you problem. You did, with that. and you don't care. You ain't got a problem with well, that's I good. You now we got now. So, but you admit your son you called in and threatened us, right? Called you in and threatened to kill you to get a life. No, but your son did, didn't he? Question: Why you had a problem with women? I have a problem with you. Oh, you, you had old a bitch. You old Why? bag. Oh, I know I'm no. You bad. old prune. You old sperm depository. You. The Tom Likas Show.